Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for one of our 365 ACT tips. An ACT tip a day. In this tip, I want to show you something that I see quite often with my clients. This is a contact list that I'm looking at in ACT. It's just a list of all the contacts that I had done a lookup of. And you'll notice that it's sort of plain. There's no division between this. If I click on different things, you can't really see real easily where one ends and one begins. Now if you use the contact list a lot you'll understand what I'm about to do and understand why this might make sense for you. What I want to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on tools and I'm going to go all the way down to preferences and I'm going to come up to colors and fonts and keep in mind this is the contact list right here. So I'm on the contact list I'm going to come down to the bottom and click on show grid lines. I'm going to click on apply and OK. And now all it's done, it's put in some lines between the different pieces of information. Now I personally find that a little easier on the eye and it's very easy to add grid lines. I'm going to double click on one of these contacts and I'm going to draw your attention down to the area that says notes and you'll notice the notes don't have any grid lines. Well there's actually not a note here so you wouldn't see it. But the point I'm trying to make, if you come back up and click on tools, again go to preferences, go to colors and fonts, whatever the first one is, click on that, hold the shift key down, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on the last one. Notice where it says show grid lines, you might have to click on this a couple times to get the checkbox in there. But when you do that, what it will do is it will apply grid lines to all the areas in ACT. So it apply to activities, opportunities, history, and all it does is create a little bit of a division just to break up some of your items in there, just so in my opinion it's a little easier to see. In another tutorial I'll talk about how you can customize the colors and fonts of some of these different screens and that can be a good thing just to make it stand out a little bit and make you understand where you are on the screen. Just visual clues that makes looking around act a little bit easier. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day.